Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we've got another rice pouch review for you. This is one of those microwavable 90 second rices, just like Uncle Ben's, our great value that we have reviewed. But this one, guys, is from Target, and it is their Good and Gather 90 second saffron rice. Cooked long grain white rice flavored with saffron and spices, no synthetic colors, artificial flavors, or preservatives. Now, this was $2.69. Their other rices range from like a buck 29 to a dollar 99. So I guess because of the saffron, this is kind of pricey. Now, is this the entire bag? This is the entire bag right here in this bowl. So, now the bag is 8.8 .8 ounces. So I mean it's a decent amount of rice, right? It's a decent amount. Now the smell, it smells, you know, pretty good. It's a strong smell, but I would say it smells more just like the inside of an Indian grocery store as opposed to like smelling like any one thing in particular. Instead of an Indian restaurant? No, a grocery store where they got like, you know, packaged like spices and packaged rices. Yeah, it smells a little, almost a little musty, but not necessarily in a bad way, you know? So guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you, Spend your hard-earned money. Let us tell you if it's worth it. That's right. Let's get into this. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Hey guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This man, huge disappointment. It's very dry. And number two, this needs salt and pepper. Mm. Really bland. Wow. Okay. So for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. This is 100% not worth the price of it and just not worth eating at all. Like you hear some people say it's not worth the calories or it's not worth the carbs. This is not worth both of those things. It is so bland, It, it like it has a flavor for sure. But to me, how it kind of smelled a little bit like a musty kind of flavor, like a, like a dusty old kind of flavor or a scent, that's the flavor that it has also. I feel like it doesn't really taste spiced other than just cumin-y because there is cumin powder in there. I feel like that's the overwhelming flavor here. Not really anything saffron or Indian flavor or anything like that. This is highly disappointing. It's also very dry. Did you say dry? Yeah. Yeah, and I felt like even though it's kind of dry, the grains themselves, even though they're not like sticking together really, like they're nicely separated, it was a little mushy. Like the the grains themselves seemed like they weren't well cooked like in the factory. And then you get it home and it gets even worse. Like this was a disappointment all around. Like, no. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> to sum it up guys, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly, even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.